Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to be walking you through the sweep feature on Autodesk Fusion 360. I am not going to walk you through the exact portion of the paper clip that you have to create for me, but you know, using the skills you see here, you should be able to at least take this and run with it, learn a little bit about it, play with the sweep feature, and be able to use it where you want to. Okay, so a couple of quick demonstrations here, nothing special. Um, let's create a sketch, and let's just, it uh, doesn't matter, let's do it upright. Okay, an upright sketch, um, let's add a line in, maybe. Uh, up here, and uh, maybe I can do like another line over here. Um, let's go ahead and make this line vertical, and let's take these two points and make sure they line up horizontally. Um, and perhaps I can draw an arc. Whoops, I don't know what I just did there. That was a mistake. I just hit A for appearance instead of A for arc. Let's go back in and, okay, so I'm still in the sketch mode. I apologize about that. Let's go and create a three-point arc that perhaps goes from here to here. And if I come out here, there you go. It locks it in place, so it's actually tangent at those two locations. So that's pretty nice. Uh, if you want to make sure, you'll come down and use the tangent constraint and say, I need this to go tangent to here. And that kind of smooths out that curve. So you're going to see here, in other words, if I move these lines, it always maintains that smooth curvature when I transition from line to arc. So that's pretty nice. Um, and okay, so let's say what I want to do is I want this to be like part of a paperclip, right? So I want this circular shape of a, of a paperclip to follow this arc, okay? I can stop the sketch. I'm going to go create a new sketch. Let's look at it from an angle here. And where the first one was upright, I'm going to take this one and make sure it's perpendicular. It's normal to the surface. So I'm going to click on the bottom here. So I'm now looking at the paperclip from below. And let's say that I had a circle that I wanted to draw maybe right there, okay? So again, looking up from an angle, this thing is lying flat, and we have this like hook shape coming out of the top. So now I can come up here and go create and sweep. It asks me for two things. What is the profile and what is the path? So the profile is the shape of the object. That's a circular shape in this case. And the path that we want it to follow is here. And when you get done, you have a nice little paper clip looking portion of a paper clip, I should say, here. We click OK, and you're done. Okay, you can do any shape you want to, really. You can be square, it can be circle, it can be rectangular. Um, it's going to follow the path that you create. So um, let's go through and I'll do a little bit more advanced example. Nothing for the paperclip here, but just to show you another application. So I have a cube here, it's six by six by six. And I'm going to go construct, say, a mid plane. Uh, let's go between this surface and the one on the other side. So I just created a plane that cuts this thing down the middle. And let's draw on that thing. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and create a sketch. And I'm actually drawing halfway through the middle. In fact, if I go through and I slice the shape, I can see I'm drawing in the interior. And now let's go through and let's use like maybe the spline tool. And I'm going to start here. And I'm just going to cut a kind of quick, there's nothing really important about what I'm doing here. Just a shape that cuts through the middle, right? So I can go through and I can say, stop the sketch. And that spline is actually cutting down through the middle, right? Okay, weird looking shape. And now I'm going to go through here and I'm going to create a perpendicular sketch. So now I'm drawing on the front. There's the point where it meets the surface. And let's just draw like, a, I don't know, a center point rectangle here. Okay, it's going to be centered right on that dot. I'm just going to keep it fairly small, not worried about dimensions. Okay, finish your sketch. And look here. So I have a rectangle that follows and it ends right on this spline, right? So now if I go through and I create a sweep, ask me for two things. The profile that I want is here. The path that I want is this. And notice it turns it into a cut instead, right? So what I've done here is I've actually created a cut that goes all the way through and it follows that path and it comes out at the other side. If you really want to see what it looks like, an easy way to do that would be to come up here and do an inspection and do a section analysis. I can click on this surface, and then I can start to pull away and look inside the shape at any point in time. And, ah, oh, look at that, right? So I have a, a, this spline rectangular cutout that actually cuts all the way through the surface. So that's just the sweep feature. That's a couple of quick applications. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, you have more than enough knowledge now to go create a paperclip on your own. Good luck.